There he is. y'all welcome back to hook set tv i'm snakehead fishing today i'm down in dorchester county came down here on a monday to avoid all the crowds weekends down here have been packed recently well uh i'm down here monday looks like i'm gonna have a good portion of the river to myself i'm pretty excited i just put in so uh before we get started fishing why don't you hit that like button make sure you're subscribed Let's see if we can not crack these snakeheads today. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start off with some top water. I'm gonna throw this prop fish around. I've never thrown this for a snakehead. But a few years ago, my buddy caught a double digits on one of these, so uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Try to understand. He missed it. That was a pretty good blow up. He just missed it. That's my second decent bite today. They're just not getting it. really stinks when you uh you're not getting a lot of bites and then when you get them there's no chance for you to hook them up all right y'all a few casts after i switched to the swim bait i caught my first snakehead of the day but the video file was corrupted so i don't have it on video but i have a photo i'll put the photo up and then we'll get right back to the action Blinded by the light Oh He hit as soon as it hit the water 
Look at that. He got all of it too. He didn't have the hook though. He's probably down there chewing on some plastic. Like an idiot. I hope he gets done eating it fast because I'm throwing him another one. that time got him that time it's coming at me oh it's a bass it's a good bass yeah it's a good bass yeah I'll take it I'll take it come on come on come on wonder if he's got my other plastic in his mouth because that's the same exact spot he was at the first time he didn't move at all he was just sitting there he was just sitting there no i don't see my plastic but he was just sitting there right against that log right against that log all right, there he is y'all, real good bass, fat and healthy. There he is y'all, real good bass, nice and healthy. There's no more little ones down here. I haven't caught a little one down here in a long time. You gonna do a little dance? You gonna do a little dance? There he goes. He was right up against that wood right up against that wood he didn't move a muscle he ripped my first swim bait i threw in there he ripped it right off the hook and he was in the same exact spot just laying there just laying there all right it wasn't a snakehead it wasn't the target but i will take it at least the fish are starting to bite Let's go see if there's one on the other side of the log. A lot better one. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 
That's a real good one. All right, this bite is turning on, and they definitely want these baits slow. I haven't got a bite all day unless I was just creeping and crawling. Fatty right there. That is a fatty right there. All right, number two. Bite's turning on, everybody. Bite is turning on. There's two snakes and a bass in about 45 minutes. That only took all morning. I didn't get a, I didn't get a fish until about 12. It's about 12:45 right now. But here to come, y'all. Blinded by the light. There's another one for the freezer. All right, y'all, let's go. He is dogging me. I see you. Man, this joker was bulldogging the crap out of me. Another good bass. He was fighting like a five pounder. I'm glad I got that out easy. That was in his tongue. He's bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna get him in there, back in the water real quick. There he goes. Yeah, I hooked him in his tongue. It's not dilly-dally with him. Yeah, I thought I felt the bite, but I wasn't sure. And then I, uh, I reeled in the slack and my line was just taken off. Yeah, he bit that thing and he just took off with it. On the fall. The water, I don't have my, I don't bring my, uh, I don't bring my electronics down here to Blackwater. It's, there's not a lot of deep spots. You really, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it might help you find the mud, but you can find that on your own. But when I put in this morning, the, the water did feel a lot cooler than it does like in August and stuff. I wasn't here in August, in August this year, but uh, usually late summer that water is a lot warmer than what it felt this morning. It was a cool morning. It was about 60, 60 degrees when I got here and I got here a little late. Overnight lows are probably in the 50s, I'm guessing. The water felt a lot cooler. I think that's why the... That's why, why they're not chasing. They're not very active. I'm only getting bites on the fall. And I'm only getting bites creeping this little thing. I had nothing. Not even a tap on reaction baits. I did get one take a go at a top water. 
earlier in open water which was kind of odd i wasn't even paying attention you know i was working it working it working it something got my attention to my right and then splash splash but he missed my bait but that's four fish in an hour 15 minutes hour and 20 minutes or so so i think we're figuring something out y'all This is a big bend in the river. The wind isn't as gnarly down here, up there, and that way. The wind is a lot worse. And this is where I'm catching all the fish. It's either the, the calmer water that they're liking, just switching to this bait and this technique of uh, letting this thing fall and then creeping it. But uh, we're figuring something out, y'all. We're figuring something out. Check this out. Look at this. I was getting a bite and then I thought, oh, I just got hung up. No. Hungry fella here. Hungry fella there. That's the first bluegill I've caught down here in ages. It's a good sign though. Snake has didn't not, did not eat them all. How about that? That's crazy. Then when I set the hook, I knew I was hung. I was like, ah, oh, missed them. No. Yeah. <laughs> Little bluegill on my hook. Along with a tree. This is my last white speed shad, y'all. I've got some more, but I don't have any more white. And white's been working today. All right, y'all, it's about 315. The wind is kicked up a lot. When it gets to gusting, it's very difficult to fish. It's hard to stay on a spot. So I'm calling it quits now. I'm headed back to the ramp. The morning bite was non-existent down here. I don't know if it was a cold night last night or what. I didn't start getting any action until about 12 o'clock. But uh, the bite was pretty good after that. Caught a couple uh, really nice bass. I caught that bluegill on a on a swim, on a four inch swim bait. I've never had that happen before. And I got some uh, snakehead fillets from my freezer, so I'm happy. So uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching. Hook set.